What's cracking, Josie Garfunkel? Let's learn some shit. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to set up your messages for your Nitrato Daisy server. That way you can get the little messages in the bottom left hand side of your screen, all your players get them, when and how you want them set up. So to start with, we're gonna go to our browser, we're gonna navigate over to Nitrato, we're gonna select the web interface of the server we wanna work with, we're gonna scroll down just a little bit on the left hand side, we're gonna click File Browser, it's where all our files are kept. We're gonna go to our missions, it's where our maps are, Livonia or Chinaris for a console, Chinaris for this example. We're gonna go to the DB or database folder, and we're going to start with the messages. So let's have a look at what's going on inside of here. Right here we have the vanilla messages file. I'm pretty sure it's the same for both maps. It doesn't really matter, but it doesn't work yet as a whole. This little arrow up top and this little arrow down at the bottom, they comment things out. The game doesn't read anything in between them, but I can easier demonstrate this in Notepad because it colorizes the font. So let's back up to our DB folder. Let's download the message file so we can take a look at it inside of Notepad. So what we're going to do in Notepad++ is open the file we just downloaded. So go to your download folder, click on that messages.xml, let's have a look. Once we're inside the messages, there's a couple things we need to do before it's a functional file. To begin with, all it has that's being read is a header opening and a close. None of this stuff is being read by anything because of these little arrows at the top and the bottom. If we remove them you'll see the colors change. Now it can read anything inside of this. Just like in all the other XML files, anything inside of these arrows is commented out and no longer acknowledged. So we have to remove that stuff, and we have to remove all these extra little bits of messages. The definitions are here if you would like to go take a look. I'll have the link in the Discord. But for now, all we want to do is remove all this extra stuff in between each actual snippet of code. To start with, we're going to take a look at this deadline message. Everybody wants their messages to have that countdown that tells you when the server is going to restart. But the shutdown itself is pretty much that. It usually only shuts down and doesn't seem to restart on its own. Unless you have a kill feed bot that has such a feature, or another bot that has a keep started feature, your server is just going to stop and go dormant. If you're at work, this is a pain in the butt. To walk you through how to use it though, hashtag name will always tell the server's name, hashtag tmin will do the countdown part keeping up based on the deadline. The deadline is in minutes. So 600 minutes is 10 hours. 300 minutes, 5 hours. 120, 2 hours. Going to have to do some math and then the bool of on or off, 0 off, 1 on, shutdown. So after this count, server shuts down. It's unreliable at this moment, like I said, without a bot. So for that one, to keep it there for reference later, you can comment that one out. Next example, repeat. So from the time you connect to the server, it's telling the game engine server when to repeat that message for the player. This will be the message. Again, hashtag name will always do your server name, but you can say, thanks for playing good game servers. Yeah, you know, whatever whatever you'd want to put to be repeated. The next example we have, we have delay. Delay is telling it when to produce this message, how many minutes after the connect. So we want it to say check out our Discord at discord.gg slash the G code. And we want that to be delayed for three minutes from the time the player connects this is also a bool for on and off zero off one on 
and we want it to also repeat but I want to bug them a lot so we want it to repeat every 30 minutes to tell them to join your discord and our last example is simply a welcoming message that tells it to be delayed two minutes from connect it's pretty self-explanatory now of course using on connect with delays and repeats so you can get messages on a cycle and whatnot you can stack messages as much as you would like since I don't like using the deadline message as it's currently still unreliable I'm gonna show you how I prompt my players that we are about to have a restart on connect and repeat every 30 minutes I just tell them the schedule so server restarts every six hours put your time zone if you would like and then maybe the hours so zero six twelve and eighteen for midnight six a.m. noon and six p.m. and every thirty minutes it will repeat this message to the player survivor person member whatever and let them know when the restart schedule is going to be so let's save this and go upload it to our Nitrato server so we can check it out so what we're going to do at our Nitrato interface is upload the file that we just edited still in our download folder for this example at least and that's just gonna overwrite it remember we took a lot of stuff out of that file so it went from 1.3 kilobytes down to 867 bytes we shortened the file right even though we added a message we still took characters out all we got left to do now is restart the server and log in to check it out 